Hi everyone, uh, today we're just going to kind of walk through the process of deploying uh, an unlisted add-on for Google Sheets. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and take an example of one that I've already done, change a few names and things like that. Uh, not everything will apply in that regard, but more or less this will kind of walk you through how it's done. First things first, I'm going to head in here to the script editor. There's not too much, you know, it's going to be individually um, dependent on your project, but you will need an on install menu. Typically, that just calls on open, and in this case, on open uh, asks you to create a menu. So, if you see now, right now, this is already linked to a Google Cloud Platform project, but um, we're going to go ahead and create a new one and link it to that. So, we'll come over here to the Google Cloud Platform. And we'll create a new project. Being that this is already named in mine, I'm going to go in here, edit this quickly, change it to that. And then I'll go ahead and name my project the same. Okay. And it'll take a few minutes for that to go ahead and initialize too long. The things that you'll need for this are images sized in certain regards. Just go to any online image resizer. To me, that's not the most important thing at this moment. So I just resize the same image over and over, saved it, I already have those done. But you'll need that. This is just a, a blank untitled document from Google Sheets that I'm going to eventually turn into the terms of service, which won't say much, it'll just be a link page. So now that that is up, looks like I can come in here and switch to my new project. And so here's my project number. First, I'm going to go into the APIs. <laughs> oh. I guess I'm going to have to click on go to API overview and if you come here to your project properties and go over to scopes you can see the OAuth scopes that are required for this particular project and we're going to go and enable APIs needed to accomplish that. Uh, first I know that I need the Sheets API. So that. Take a couple minutes here for this to go. Then, credentials page, you have to configure your OAuth screen, that screen for this to allow you to link it to it. So really all you need is a application name, right? And <clears throat> We'll go in here and we're going to uh, manually add our scopes that we need. So, file property scopes. Paste. Now, we want to add one. I said you probably should have just comma. Under that, but um, right. So now we've got all those. Need anything? All the rest of this optional. You can go through all these things out but for now 
click save back to the api's dashboard enable apis go for the app script api maybe Rip. that Okay, come back here, get our project ID, our number, and here we're going to link it to that project under Google Platform Project. Already linked, but we're going to say set it to this new project. Work there, but we're going to come in here. <clears throat> we're going to put manage versions. You see, this already has version or versions, but uh, video version. Oops. Save that. And that's version three. See that back here one last time. APIs overview. Enable APIs. We're going to need to do the G Suite SDK. And type in SDK. And we're looking at this Marketplace SDK right here. Enable that. Right. Over to configuration. And we're gonna need we need to put in something here, so I'll just say add on retrieve. No. Add the live chat and respond. Now these are the images I was telling you about earlier. I've already went ahead and um, created those. So let's just go here. We're looking for eight. That. You know, you can see your sizes right here of all the ones you need: one twenty-eight by one twenty-eight, ninety-six, ninety-six, so on and so forth. So you just want to go through to an image resizer and uh, create those. You can create different ones if you'd like, but I just went ahead and made them all the same. Purpose of this video. Two. All right, there's all of our images. So now we need our terms of service URL here, and we'll just press. Necessary in terms of formatting, but this okay. Now we're going to go here to share this. 
advanced change this is public on the web anyone can view copy this here and just paste that this is our link there we have all of those are optional you can go ahead and fill them in should you choose to we'll come back here our project properties and once more grab our scopes Hitting enter after I put those in to add those. All right, there's all of our scopes. This is going to be a Sheets add-on extension, so we're going to go ahead and click that. Our script ID is again on here in Project Properties. This is script ID. At and our script version is three. That's from when we made our versions earlier today, early in this video. So we're saving the changes there. Our configuration is now saved. Next, we'll go over here to publish and deploy it as a Sheets add-on. So here's a quick little description we'll put in there. Version is three. Little post install tip you can put in did you choose to yes enter in our password quick all right so here we go we have our uh little information in our detailed description we have our updates this or our icon this is going to be 128 by 128 which we've already made before for the screenshot you need to add a screenshot it needs to be 1280 by 800 or 640 by 400 I just went into it after I ran it made a quick screenshot took it over to the image resizer made it the proper size uploaded it there uh, as well as the same image from before that I was resizing um, that you see here. I resized that 440 by 280 for that. Um, you can say I, go ahead and pick your category. For this one, I'm just putting it in utilities. All regions is fine. Not for education. Language is English. Unlisted. Okay. That goes ahead and takes care of all the things we need to do there. So we'll publish. Changes. <clears throat> and it'll come ahead and pull this up for us. This is, uh, you know, since I've already published this one in the past, it goes ahead and shows up there. But you may run into a small issue here where if you have not paid them $5 one time fee, <clears throat> it will not uh, go ahead and populate for you. But supposing that you have, it'll go ahead and publish it for you. If you need to send anybody the link to it, you can go here, click free, and they'll install it just like that. So now we can still see this as version one. We just updated it to a new version, so give it a few minutes, refresh it a few times, and eventually it'll uh, come up as your new one that you published. So that's about the size of it. Um, if anybody has any questions, feel free to post them in the comments. But Hopefully this gets you, I mean, there's many other things in terms of terms of service and images and things that you can do separately, but this gets you the basics. This gets you up and going. 
Um, you can do a public add-on in, in very much the same way. There's just a little bit of a review process for that. Um, but otherwise, yeah, that's it.